What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be targeting sheep's head. It's the right weather for it. It's chilly. It's like 50, 60 degrees right now. Actually to be exact, 55 degrees. So it's a little bit chilly. I think it's sprinkling a little bit right now, but it's not bad. It's still fishable. But um, yeah, we're gonna be targeting sheep's head. We're looking for a crab right now. And let me show you guys the bait that's often overlooked. These guys right here, these are called mussels. That's empty. You can just pick these guys up off the ground just like that. Just twist it and turn it and you should be able to get them like that. That's called mussels, I believe. And they work really good. We're gonna try this out today. We'll see what happens, man. I didn't find that many crabs, so we're probably just gonna be fishing with these mussels. These are easy to get, like I said. Look, they're all over these cracks here. See that? These are all them. Just gotta twist it to get them up off the ground. And they're so easy to pick up. These mussels are all over. So easy to get. When it's cold like this, fiddler crabs and mangrove crabs are so hard to come by. The fiddler crabs are gonna be deep down in the holes. The only thing you can get are those rock crabs, mud crabs, whatever you wanna call them. They are very similar to the stone crabs, so you gotta be careful when you harvest those. Make sure you're not harvesting stone crabs. I believe the stone crabs got the stripes on their legs. Let's head to our first sheep's head spot and see what happens. What's up everybody? We just got on the pier and um, sprinkling a little bit. We gotta make our way to the end of the pier because that's the only spot where you can fish. We just got to the back of the pier. We're getting set up right now. We're gonna uh, chum it up a little bit and then drop our first bait down there and see if we can hook up onto a nice, really nice uh, sized sheep's head. I don't even know if I need a chum. Um, the weather is really cold right now. It's like 50 degrees, 55 degrees. I should be able to just hook them up with just, um, with just live crab, but I'm gonna chum anyways, get them fired up so we can uh, just catch them back to back. All right, we're gonna drop our first bait down there. Let me show you guys where I like to hook my crab, just right near the edge, and then go out right along where the, leg, the legs are, just like so. That's it. Free lining today, no weights or anything. 20 pound leader and um, uh, 10 pound braid. Light tackle, guys. Oh, came off. That was a good one. That was on the crab. I think they're fired up now, man. He's all right. He's not all that big. But he's the targeted species, though. They get bigger than that. Pretty cool. He's all nice and cold. That was on the crab. Now we're gonna try the mussels I was talking about earlier. One of these pretty decent sized mussels there. Let's see if it works. Gotta have a pocket knife. Just crack it open like that. Just like that. That's good right there so the juice can get all over the place. And um, hopefully a sheep's head picks it up. Literally I'm just burying this hook in there like like that. I don't know, that's how I do it. If you guys know a better way on how to fish with these mussels, leave some comments in the comment section down below. But that's how I do it. Let's see if it works. So I know sometimes you can't really get your hands on the crabs when it's cold like this. So, mussels is gonna have to do. On the mussel, that was a big one too, boys. <laughs> that was on the mussel. Those are often overlooked. I don't see many people using those type of baits. That was a big one we lost. All right, let's drop another mussel down there. So literally, I'm just cracking it open like that with a pocket knife. Gotta have a pocket knife, man. It's so useful. You never know when you're gonna need it. All right, let's try this again. This time, we're gonna let them, we're gonna let them crush it. Oh my God, bigger. Oh, the oyster, I mean the mussels. <laughs> About time. You guys doing YouTube? Yeah. He's not that big. He's probably a keeper, but we're gonna let him go though. All right, boys, we're letting this guy go. He's not big at all. He's probably right on 12. He's 
pelican's like right on my line, guys. He's waiting for, for me. He's waiting for me to catch a sheep's head so he can steal it. Ooh, get nibbles. Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh my god, finally a decent one, guys. Yes. Slob. It's a slob. This one's going home with us. He's gonna be dinner. He's all right. Look at that, man. Solid, solid fish. Got a nice bite, man. Definitely a, definitely a sheep's head. Oh my God, that was a big one. All right, another muscle going down. I cracked it a little bit with the knife and I'm just gonna hook it like that and hopefully it stays on there. Just like that, guys. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I got a fish on, boys. Pelican's trying to get it. He's fine. You got to keep this guy. Yep, we're keeping him. Seems like that's about the size we're, uh, we're getting right now, so. He's not bad. He's probably 12, 13 inches there. He's, uh, he's probably right on 12. Keeper, for sure. Oh yeah. That's not a bad one. All right, we're gonna switch it up now. The bite on the muscle's been slow, so we're gonna toss this crab down there. Hopefully it gets a big one. On it. Oh yeah, that's a good one, boys. Oh my God, no, he's got the fish. <laughs> Took him out of his mouth. Dang pelican. That was on the mud crab. He's 12 inches. We actually, actually, we might keep him. Nah, we'll let him go. He's a little small. See, dude. All right, guys. Here goes the muscle. That should be good there. Let's drop it. Here we go. Straight down, right next to the uh, piling. Just let it sink all the way down to the bottom and just wait for the bite. Oh, no way, no way, I'm on it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna let him eat it next time, man. Oh yeah, baby. Finally. Oh yeah, that's a big one. On the muscle. Look at that muscle still attached to his mouth. Came off though. <laughs> Gotta love it. This one here is on the muscle. He's pretty decent, we're gonna keep him. That's a wrap for me. Hope you guys like this video. Try out this method, see if it works for you. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week.